Well, Alex Woodyard, back where it all started for you, Charlton Athletic on Saturday. Um, who influenced you? Whose boots did you clean there? Um, well, I didn't actually get to the stage of cleaning any players' uh, boots. But, yeah, no, it was... Um, you know, growing up, it was, you know, it was my club I supported because it's local to, local to uh, where I live. And, yeah, I played for the academy there for a number of years, so... There's a few, still a few coaches there I, I still know. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good place to go back and um, it's a great stadium to play at as well. And um, it's, like a, it's a good, you know, local London sort of derby. Absolutely. I mean, good memories you're saying. What kind of teammates did you have back in the day? Do you remember a few of them? Um, yeah, there was, there was a few a few players who uh, have gone on to, out of my age group, there's a few players who have gone on to play. Not uh, um, not not at the top level, but you know, a few years below, like Pigs' age group. Yeah, there was a lot of a um, lot of good young talent that will come through, and now a lot of them are playing in you know, the Premier League and things like that. So, yeah, they do produce you know, good young talent. Absolutely, and you were saying when you joined, of course, as well. You mentioned the Wimbledon link, but you just said again there about Charlton as well. So, is there a bit of family rivalry on Saturday, perhaps? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's just you know, obviously, when you I grew up in Dartford, so it's not a million miles away from. Um, from Charlton, so you, you you know you do tend to support your local team. Um, obviously, yeah, like my dad and that, you know, grew up supporting Wimbledon. So yeah, I suppose it's, um, it's a good uh, you know family derby. And you mentioned the two clubs as well in terms of the history, going back to home where they've come from. I mean, obviously Charlton going back to the Valley over the years, Wimbledon now back at Plough Lane. There's that kind of aspect, isn't there? Yeah, of course. Both clubs have gone through the sort of the, the, the dark times and come through the. Um, come through the men bits, so that's great now, obviously, we're back at uh, Plough Lane, back at our home, and obviously, Charlton have been back at the Valley now for a number of years, so, yeah, it's great, it's great for both clubs. It's the closest thing we've got to, really, to a derby, particularly around this time of the year as well. What kind of qualities do you need in a derby fixture? You must have played in a few. Um, I think you just got, I think, uh, for me, I think you just got to take each game as it comes. Uh, obviously, there's that added little bit of, uh, you know, you want you want to when you want to get one up on your your, your rival London club, but I think for us it's just about getting back to um, winning ways in the league, and you know there was a other great way to do it was the other night, uh, three three nil win, great result from the boys, and um, hopefully we can take confidence from that now, and you know look to build on Chol- uh, look to build on Saturday, and hopefully go to Charlton and win three points. You're ambitious. You you made it clear when you came here you didn't come here to survive and make up numbers. How placed? How best placed do you think we are going into twenty twenty one? Um. Yeah. Definitely. I, f- I think a few boys have said. Um. A few lads have mentioned that you know we we got a fair few more points on the ball than than the, than the side did last year. But um. Of course, you've all you know we've all we're all all the boys are all very like wanna. You know, they've got ambition, so we all want to sort of we all want to do as well as we can. We'll, same time, it's it's all about it's all all about learning and. Just lately, like I know a few girlfriend that's mentioned that we haven't had much time on the on the training pitch to, to keep learning because we still are a young team, yeah. and we still have to, um, you know, just because we, you know we're winning games and we do it, we are doing well. There's still a lot more, um, a lot more learning to do, and and we we, we are doing that. We're, we're grafting, Gaffar, Dorsey, every, Robbo, everyone, Bezo, They're all you know, they're all helping us on the way, and we've just got to keep trying. The best way to learn is by picking up results, and we can keep picking up results and learning at the same time, we're going to be in a great place. And you touched upon the fact that, you know, trying to get that time in on the training ground, doing the maintenance work. If potentially we can get around to sort of sorting out that, where we're, we're conceding perhaps a little bit soon after we've scored, are we looking at perhaps higher up the table? Hopefully, of course. You know, we've got, we, we, we've got targets, but obviously we, we want to keep them within the, um, the dressing room and cause we don't want to, you know, don't want to put loads of expectations on ourselves. We, we know what we want to do, we know where we're ca- what we're capable of doing, and um, we'll continue to work hard, and we'll continue to pick up results, and you know, you, you, without, like I said, putting too much pressure on ourselves, you, you only got to look at teams like, you know, last year, Wickham. I'm not saying we're going to do the same thing, but it can be done, and that's what we're looking at. They didn't have the, um, you know the the most money, the most the bet, the, the you know people people say the best quality players in the league. Um, we've got a young squad, but we've got very talented players. And um, with us older lads who can help them mature and improve, we're in, we're in a great place. And this club, further down the years, is going to really reap the benefits of the young talent coming through. Yeah, it's good to hear. Um, the fixture schedule itself at the moment has been pretty brutal, but you seem to me to be one of those players that would say bring it on. 
Yeah, definitely. I, I'm, I love to play games back to back because you know if you lose a game, like for instance on Saturday, it wasn't a great wasn't a great result for us, but we had that chance on Tuesday night to put it right, and we did. So when there's games, game after game, it's good to to get back on get back on the horse and and uh, keep the keep the wins going. And also in terms of um, the games that we've had at the moment, a player that is your midfield colleague, Anthony Hartigan, he's worked with Mark Robinson since his academy days. What do you make of how he stepped up this season? He's done brilliant. See, he was you know at the start um, he didn't have much game time, um, but when he's come in, he's been really, 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 really good. And I'm, I'm pleased with him as well because when he wasn't playing, he was still you know working hard in training, and I think what. Well, I think that people forget he's still so young and I say to him all the time I say and what is he 19, 20? yeah 20 and he's played over 100 league games he's in he's, the, he's in such a great great place great for there's not many kids out there who've played that many games and I just keep saying keep learning keep improving and he really is you know really what what I've seen from when I first come into now he's really really come on and he looks like he's you know building in confidence and he just needs to keep that going and he's to Feel it needs to, the more he plays, the more confident he'll get, and the more you'll see him, you know, come out of his shell. But he's been excellent. I've, it's been a joy to play with, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's good lad, a good lad. Aren't it? Good. Um, in terms of where we're at now with the new stadium, and we're in there now. It's fantastic with him from the players about the surroundings we've got there. But what was it like being involved that night on the first night, that historic night, and getting out on that pitch under the lights? What's it like playing there? Yeah, it's um, it's actually funny to be fair because. From when we first started training there to what it is now as well, it's come on massive. Like you, you walk in now and you, and you think, God, this is, with all the seats in, this is a beautiful place to come and play your football. It's in a great place in Wimbledon. It's a lovely stadium. For me, there's no better place to go and play, play football. And you know, playing, being, being able to obviously come into the football club and be, and be a part of it so, so early on and not have, not have to go through the, um, the journey of it, it's a privilege for me. And, um, it's great for what what everyone's done for the club, and you know, I feel it's, it's you know it's pr it was a proud moment for them, proud moment for me, and um, yeah, it's just it's great, and you get you every when you wake up before a game, you always get excited to go and play your your football there. It's like I said, it's a phenomenal pitch, you know, lovely stadium, and it's just just a, just a nice place to go and play football. The togetherness amongst this group as well. One other player I wanted to touch upon too is he's on his way back from injury. Um, Luke O'Neill, it's good to have him around the group now, isn't it? Because he's one of those characters you need in this situation. It's keeping him positive too, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, Luke's um, Luke's doing well. He's um, you know he's coming on, and we've missed him, but he's still a big part of it. He still comes to watch us play, and he, like you said, he's he's massive in the changing room. He's got he's a big um, bubbly character, <laughs> big bubbly character, and he's just just a great lad. And you know when he, when, when we get him back, that'll be a real bonus as well because. Um, we all miss him. We don't just miss his quality, on, you know, playing. We we miss his, um, you know, his everyday self around the training pitch, and you know, great lad. Um, he's been brilliant in training. Uh, he's, since he's been back, he's just been fine on it. Fine on. No, we got to start again. We got to start. Again. Just let you know. 2021, hopefully, when we're through all of this situation as well, you and him hopefully getting out there on the golf course. Yeah, um, um, do you know what? I'm, I am a king golfer, but I've, I haven't played much this year, and um, it will be nice, you know, when uh, everything's back to normal. And I know a few of the lads are um, golfers as well, so it'd be good to sort of get everyone together and have a, and have a golf day. Maybe we'll have a, uh, an AFC Wimbledon golf day, so we can um, hopefully organise one in the future. Sounds like a good idea, Alex. Great catching up with you. Cheers, thanks.